going to hit back of the knee again and what we're doing is we just want to build up the pigment because the more and more we hit it the more and more this layer is going to build up and you're going to get a better shade than just doing one straight wash and you're also going to get a better a better transaction than if you were uh, you're going to do it manually with a paintbrush and mix the paints and we slowly start climbing further up we're going to leave the trim alone because we want that to be nice and bright we're going to have a look at this backpack in between all these areas doing it again up around the belt we want the belt to be nice and bright so we're going to go Either side of the belt, get that wash in there. I'm going to put a heavy amount of wash on the underside because the light is going to be coming from this area. So it's going to catch a shadow behind him. We want to try and keep the legs nice and bright, but we want to cast shadow around the back you know, the bum, the back of the legs, definitely the back of the shoulder pad, up inside here if you feel like, uh, like doing it and we're going to put some wash up there and already just by looking at this miniature he has transformed, you know, he was one bright bright blue angel and now we've gone in with this wash we've built up several layers and we've actually toned him down you've got you've now got contrast between certain areas and all in all he is turning into a nice dark gritty character which is uh, the style that I, I tend to paint. Okay then guys. Clean his brush. Put his lid back, lid back on. And we're now going to turn his attention to the gun and any other metallic areas. Okay then. Oh. take that dried rim of uh, paint off so what I've done here is I've just opened up my pot of chaos black and we've got a nice big chunk of it down there now if, you, if you've got it uh, now would be a nice time to pick up uh, your pot of black ink damn it I've actually got one round here, there we go. And instead of using water, we're going to use this black ink. You don't have to use the black ink. We're going to use that on his black. Once again, it's all about keeping pigment in his paints because water can sometimes separate them. And we're just going to hit the main outer casing, the bare metal, we don't need to concern ourselves with because this bolt gun metal is going to cover that nicely and the step we're going to do after that is going to basically give us a shadow so, just give me two minutes guys, I'm going to uh, paint this properly and I'm going to come back to you. Okay then guys, here we go. Um, 
one thing I failed to mention is whilst you've got the black you might as well go and paint the blood angel symbol on his uh, left shoulder pad so yes what I've actually got here is two colours we've got Bulgum Metal and Vallejo Air Gun now the reason I've got them both side by side is because I'm going to mix them uh, reason being that the gun colour is exceptionally runny because it's because it's uh, actually created to be used in an air gun uh, bulk gun metal on the other hand is quite viscous and if you mix them both together you get pretty much the same um, the same flow that you've been getting with all your previous paints and still keeping your pigment high which is pretty much the one thing I've been pretty much pushing all the way through this video so here we go then guys and they're going to touch up all the metal areas get the good coat now ideally the sort of um, coverage that you're wanting is a very nice flat flat um, flat coat Sorry, typical male thing there, can't multitask. I'm going to add a little bit of water because it is actually drying. Because I'm taking so long. Uh, this is fun. Here we go. Just touch up these areas. Now, the reason being for the flat paint job is because after we've done this we're actually going to be hitting the, the metallic areas with a coat or two uh, it depends on what finish, finish you're actually after of battered black instead of actually trying to force actually paint shadow what we're going to do is we're going to take the lazy man's option and we're going to let all these you know all these paints and mediums and fancy uh, I know you can't see anything but my hand here but I'm basically trying to speed it up so that we can move on all these fancy new materials coming out that basically makes a certain job easier and quicker so hell why not why not use them you know some people think that watches are you know for face for faces are you know they're just a one hit you know one hit thing no nah, cover the entire model with one go for it Lay layer them build them up Right, that will do for the time being. Whilst that's drying, I'm actually going to share with you how I paint gold. Now there's only one area on this miniature that I can actually do this, so this could be quite difficult for you to actually follow along I will do my best I am a total noob but here goes right the chalice 